most people have a very serious misconception about roots in the forest. There are no roots in these forests. There are roots in the sense that they anchor the tree to the soil, but it's not the roots that are the absorbing surfaces in forests. It's the fungi. All around the world, there are fungi in the soil. When roots enter the soil, they connect to a massive network of fungal filaments. These filaments feed the roots and enable them to exploit up to 500 times more area than the roots themselves. Several miles of filament can be found in a thimble full of dirt. Fungus. That's a uh, red fungus and vinicolor. Yeah. Nearly every root, nearly every plant, receives nutrients from fungus. Mm -hmm. You see that spider web kind of material? Uh -huh. I can see it with animal ones. Yeah. When we see mushrooms, they're a sign of the fungi in the soil. Most of the mushrooms that you see on the forest floor are the fruits of the fungi in the soil. And this is the fruit of the organism, just much like the apple is the fruit of the apple tree, this is the fruit of the fungal filaments in the soil. When the early scientists began looking at roots on a microscope, they saw the fungi inside the root. They thought, oh no, the fungi are attacking the roots. We need to kill these things. And it wasn't until decades later that people realized that that close association of fungi root was not detrimental, but beneficial, and then ultimately essential for the plant to survive. The relationship between plants and fungi is an ancient one. It's one of the oldest and most powerful strands in the web of life. Many millions of years ago, when there was only aquatic plants, the land surfaces of the planet Earth were really basically barren. And it was this fortuitous ma marriage of the fungus with the plant that allowed the plant to leave this relatively benign aquatic environment and colonize a relatively harsh land surface because the fungi allowed the plant to get the minerals and the moisture from that soil surface that it could not have gotten without the fungi. An evolutionary leap, which has formed all of our major ecosystems, was due to this, this fortuitous union of fungus and plant. Most plants and trees we see around us everywhere, the grasses, the flowers, the food that we depend on, owe their existence to this ancient bond between fungi and plants.